Okay, so I ain't got nothing to say. I was so I was listening to this a little bit, and then I heard some things, and then I was like, "Ugh, let's get this on camera. Let's get this reaction because this dude was wilding." All right. <laughs> Hey, Grandma. Yeah, I'm still out making my Uber runs. I'll be home soon. I just got one more pickup, kind of close to 8 Mile. Okay, okay. Love you, too. Beats fire, first of all, Hit Boy. I mean, come on. Yo, Hit Boy's on fire right now. Like Nas. Like I've even been hearing a lot of Hit Boy type beats. Joe Budden, maybe? Joe. B well, there's a bunch of people with podcasts. Let me hold on. Let me look up one that has. Okay, here we go. I was trying to give him a stream, but. Let's see this shit. Black slip shape. I own pet the heat with my love for me. I tiptoe around in my chucks and shit. Hi. I'm the black slip shape. Sick, sick in the brain. Sick is the day that I came. Hennessy running through my veins. I'm loaded with the clip and aim. Sick of you niggas talking like you won't get wet in the rain. Now I sing in Frank Ocean and you get hit with this Nova King. Sick and tired of niggas, bitches and critics. They all the same. Lame games, they playing lines. Trying me for my name. I stick my dick in your podcast. Tell the bitch on the show just to lick the tip. It's ridiculous. She watching it grow. Cross side and cross sides on my enemies. If you cross the street, you run into me. Crash into a light bulb. Now you calling out the driver's side like a centipede. And me, I'm finna be on a jet to the Philippines. Philippines, kick the Kool-Aid over. Tell God don't intervene while I'm smashing some weedy. Proceed to Smith and Rick. Hey, uh, I don't blame him, sweetie. But um, his 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 rhyme scheme right now is very Eminem ish. His even his tone is very Slim Shady ish. It's G A sicky sicky M. Paint my face, I'm him. Putting this big black dick in your skims. I don't think they know who they fucking with. Is that like another shot of like Kanye, like Skims, Kim Kardashian? Maybe I don't know. Pull that truck around, niggas. It's tough and clips. I'm the black slip shape. I own pet the heat with my oven mix. I tiptoe around in my chucks and shit. Hi, I'm the black slip shape. I killed Dr. Dre in my basement last night. I was wasted last night. I went ape shit last night. Chopped his body up and forgot where I placed it last night. Had a slice of humble pie. I couldn't taste it last night. Lost my taste and my smell. I got a Marion. Me and Dr. Fauci went to Crazy Girls. And then we got a party on. So feed five. Oh, okay, like Omni. I was like, what the hell is that supposed to mean? Yo, he loves bringing up Dr. Dre. I don't think Dr. Dre fucks with you no more, bro. Like, you be mentioning Dr. Dre more than, like, somebody signed to the boy, you know? So it's like... I'm my way 40, going dumb, not eat 40 to other 40. I'm with Canadians at Drake House, having a steakhouse. And I'm so tired of ordering takeout. What's beef? Beef is when you tell a chef to bring them steaks out. So let's play house. Dracos and the AR stay the fuck up off of Stanley Grass and take a shit in AR. And my dick stay hard when I see Lizzo on the internet. It's another BBL. My dick get little on it. <laughs> Big old Lizzo. Internet. My intellect is NFTs and cryptos. I can never be a crypto. I tiptoe with my red rag around six souls. Chuck? Yeah. Hey man, let's get you out the rain. Good looking. How's your night going? So I thought this part was cool. He's like, you know, Stan's brother. You got a charger up there with you? Yeah, for sure. It reaches all the way back there too. Good looking, homie. 
Hey, yo, I really fuck with that starter cap. That shit hard as fuck. Crazy story behind it. My brother Stan, rest in peace. What? He gave this hat 22 years ago. Damn. It's my favorite. Can I see that shit for a minute? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, shit. This motherfucker autographed and everything. Who signed it for you? Eminem. Okay, like so... This is kind of where I picked it up, and this is where shit started getting crazy. Just that's when I was little. I don't really like this new stuff. Whoa, wait, I know where we're going. Wait, why do you have a Yo, shit. Hey, man, I'm driving. I'll get you there. Wait, I'll take you. I'm a fan. It's cool, too, man. You don't need to do this. Oh, fucking roll. Oh, okay. Yo, come on, man. All right. Drive. All right, all right. Drive. Go, go. Shut the fuck up. All right. Ask Dre. All I got is my word, my dick, and my Mac 10. One thing you can never have. Is my motherfucking black skin This ain't no suit that I wore This ain't a mansion that hanging black This ain't no stupid award yeah. So oh, he goes platinum And oh, I'm on the map with him He got all the blackest friends He wants to be African Me, left for dead on the doctor's advocate Dre never executive produced it I just imagined it Oh, here goes the magic tricks Candy shops and the magic stick I wonder what the I wonder what's behind that line That sounds kind of personal Like it sounds like maybe, I mean, I'm kind of trying to fill in the blanks, but why would he say that left for dead on doctors? So that's how he felt. Dre never executive produced it. I just imagined it. Is that something Eminem had said to him or something? I'm not sure. I don't know. It sounds kind of personal. The with him, he got all the black and friends. He wants to be African, me. Left for dead on the doctor's advocate. Dre never executive produced it. I just imagined it. Oh, here goes the magic tricks. Candy shops and the magic stick. D'Angelo, baby, got in shape to whip your ass again. You depressed, you just masking it. You pop an Adderall, a Vicodin, and an aspirin. But the math wasn't acting it. So pass me the torch, cause the torture in my mind with the voice that defied rhymes will force the blind eye to see that I was in the white Rolls Royce with five nines when you was pretending to be the white Royce the five nine. I see, that's the. I the fine line might just force the white guy to call d12 so he can be the pork that grind swine and the biggest rap in detroit that aboard is sean don so uncork the chardonnay and stick my fork in white wine see the white here, here's the thing too a lot of the stuff he's saying is very touchy it's like are we battling or are you like really taking shots because it's like there's nothing wrong with battling like i have friends if friends wanted to start taking jabs at my style how i do it or whatever but once you start taking like personal digs and jabs, then it doesn't feel like we're battling anymore. Now it feels like we're actually like, we're, like we, you, we have beef, you know? Because the, the white, the Royce to 5'9", he gets that a lot. Like a lot of people, I've even heard like, you know, Daylight say, you know, um, I think it was Day, Day Electronica on Daylight's album, Light Skin. He says something like that, you know, well, Royce to 5'9", if he was black or if he was white, would be Royce to 5'9", or something like that. But like the, the the comparisons are there, you know. But um, the D twelve line's a little weird. Race the five nine. I just crossed the fine line. Might just force the white guy to call D twelve so he can be the pork that grinds swine and the biggest rapper. Might just might just force the white guy to call D twelve so he can be the pork they grind swine. And the biggest rapper in Detroit that award is shunned. So uncork the shot and I just take my fucking wing. Yeah, the D12 line's a little weird to me. Cause they're already friends before, but Detroit, that aboard is Sean Don. So uncork the Chardonnay and stick my fork in white wine. I never heard you in a club. I never heard you in a bar. Back. The albums in 10 never got play inside of my car. I'd rather listen to Snitch 9 like 69 times than participate in 69s with 69 nuns than listen to you. You're a Karen, call the cops, tell him it's a black man on your block with a Glock and he got a cop. And the tattoos on his face is a star and a teardrop. He's standing on a tail drop and he says he can feel block in the air like Phil Collins. Listen to him, he's still wildin'. Ah, Epstein's chasing me around Epstein Island. So silence, huh, I'm thinking. Nothing rhymes with orange, so fifty fifty slim shady. Please stand up, shoot the fade with me. I love to put these hands up. I could forty Glock you unarmed, drop the world on your head with one arm. This slim Hades with me, and she's unharmed for now. Got really scared. These is the deepest secrets I keep, and I'll be on defense because G's ain't supposed. I feel like that angle's getting played out though, like the whole Haley thing. Just say Haley's name. I mean, I don't know. <clears throat> Float up with all the facades I hold up inside of my mind. I froze up. I'm cold as COVID Ebola. The Spanish flu in Korea.
Corona, the Zika virus, pneumonia is deep inside my persona. On each side of my shoulders is demons chasing Jehovah. The renegade or the soldier, I really gave it to Hope. I feel 23 years still ain't. He said, I really gave it to. I don't know. What do you guys think? I, I personally think they both did a good job on Renegade. I don't think either one was like Eminem was lyrical miracle, and then Hove was, Hove was doing a lot of multisyllabic, but then he was telling like the story of like you know Brooklyn where he's from. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't think one overshadowed the other. I think Eminem's flow, in the way, because you you got to think about it. It's an Eminem beat. Eminem and Royce the Five Nine were on the song originally, and then um. He threw it over to Hove, and then Hove used it for a, what was it, Blueprint or Black Album? One of those albums. But a big Hove album. So it's like Eminem engineered the whole track, and so that's why he had a flow pattern that was tailor-made to the beat. Hove kind of just saw he could use it, and then I, he already knew the verse was live, because I don't think Eminem went back and rewrote anything. Not that I know. Um, so like, But I, I thought they both did a good job. I don't know. Penetrating the culture, you are not top five in mind, big or pot eyes. No Andre, no Nas, stop telling white lies. Oh, so is that his top five? I would have figured Game's top five would have a bunch of West Coast dudes in it. Big, Pac, Andre, and Nas, and then also Hove. Big, Pac, Andre, Nas, Hove. I don't see anything wrong with that top five. Who's in my top five? Hove, M, Nas, Pop, Big, Black Thought, Ice Cube. Yeah, I, I don't see anything wrong with that top five. Sniff a white line, this the right time. I should night vanilla ice. I'm not Mr. Nice Guy. Hey, that's a good line because Suge Knight just apparently, as the story goes, he just went in and took some v uh, vanilla whites or what's his name, vanilla ices, just publishing. He just took it from him, you know. So like that was that's a good line. I like that. Sniff a white line. This the right time. I should night vanilla ice. I'm not Mr. Nice Guy. Crazy. I'm crazy. I'm not Mr. Nice Guy. I'm crazy. Mr. Nice Guy. Drano. Fucking go. You didn't piss off Jimmy, Universal and Interscope. No, nope. I got Jimmy Slim 50 and Universal Interscope. Cause I'm shady. I'm shady. I'm shady. Shadier than him. Hey, hey, cause hey, so that's a shot at Jimmy Iveen who didn't dap up game at the game. Like there was a basketball game and he just walked right past them like he didn't know him. Like Yeah, he's he's going crazy. Crazy than him. So when the bad signal goes up and the clouds are above the buildings, I hope you live long enough to see heroes turn into villains. Or you think I'm a joker? Well, riddle me this. You love your mother? Well, I'm cleaning out your closets for you and your half brother. And I okay, so this is where I stopped it. Because I was just like, bro, what are you doing? That's that's. So this is where I stopped. And then that's all. Like, Let me get this on video because like, I'm probably like not going to really be able to replicate this reaction. But... That's where I was, so if anybody knows Eminem, <clears throat> Eminem had a brother who passed away, and, and cleaning out a closet, remember when Ronnie died and he said, you wish it was me? Well, guess what? I am dead, dead as you wish can be. Like, that's something that Eminem's talked about that really kind of, you know, was something that's real and deep to him, like the passing of his half-brother or, or whatever he was, and to, to like, that, that's when I was just like, all right, so what are we doing here? Because I, I like disc records. They're cool. Um, they can be corny if you're punching down. You know what I'm saying? I like to see ba equal MCs battle. The game in, in Eminem would be an equal battle, in my opinion. Because the game is an underrated writer. Like, when you listen to a 92 Bars, where he's dissing Meek Mill. Or um, the Ooh Freestyle. Or just, you know, like, any of his disses. I mean, him going versus Joe Budden. Like, the game is a, a wordsmith, and he's really good with punches and entendres and, like, double meanings. And Eminem is just, like, a lyrical, spiritual type of guy, but he also can do punchlines and comes up with clever stuff. So, I'd say they're pretty equally matched. Like, one is the biggest from the West Coast, and one is the biggest artist from the East Coast. Or one of the biggest from the East Coast. Detroit, or the Midwest, wherever the fuck Michigan is, you know what I'm saying? But this is where I was just like, what are we doing? 
because you're dissing you're you're dissing the dead now like that's just kind of it's kind of weird you know especially coming from somebody who used to be your boss and I mean you did songs with them you were repping shady aftermath you know what I'm saying you were kind of waving the the banner for them and now you're like mentioning somebody's dead relative for the sake of what you know what I'm saying so a joker will riddle me this You love your mother? Well, I'm cleaning out your closet For you and your head brother And I told you when I was in Detroit I wanted to go to 8 Mile Cause when I was little to get some m and I had to walk 8 miles But you wouldn't leave the studio Your life is on loop That's why I'm doggy and style Cause niggas rather bump snoop And I'm a lyrical 50 cap Leave his brains all thin When the game's all in Then the chainsaw ring ring Hello? Hello? Page and Dr. Dre? Mm -hmm. Got a lot to say, but since Curtis always do, let him write the rhymes for you. Tell him to clip the wings on my butterfly tat and force him back in the cocoon. Or does he still rap? Or did he have a change of heart too? The chick on the show wasn't picking me, and Mariah wasn't picking you. So the cannons is blam blam, and if it jam, then I unjam it. And wipe down my strip of pole with the head grease from your bandana. You wish you were Santana or Cam in them 10 J's. Do rag for 10 years and never had one way. And I was a runaway slave to think buried in that one grave. And some say he will be back to haunt Slim Shady one day. Now I'm here, hope you. Ready. This is not mom spaghetti. This your dad was 22 when he ate Lil Debbie. He tastes the cake. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's funny. That is funny. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. Okay. I, see, th this is why I think it's going to be a good battle, man. Because, like, the game is very witty. And, like, <clears throat> Eminem obviously is, like, a, a prick. He's one of the wittiest people to ever do this shit, but like, he ate little Debbie, like Debbie Mathers. I mean, this is gonna be a good battle. That's all I guess. I'm excited. Never had one wave, and I was that run. Why'd 50 catch a stray though, man? Way slaves, they buried in that one grave, and some say he will be back to haunt Slim Shady one day. Now I'm here, hope you're ready. This is. I like that line, like he would be back to haunt Slim Shady one day. I like that. I like that angle. That imagery is dope. Mom spaghetti, this your dad was 22 when he ate Lil Debbie. He takes the cake, cause she was only 15. So how could one not sympathize with her having you as a team? Wait, had... wait, what? What? This is your dad was 22. I didn't know that. I mean, regular hood shit, though. Like, this is what I be trying to tell people. Like, people in the hood, they don't care about, like... I'm not trying to get nobody indicted or nothing like that. But I know people who they don't care about. Like, they'll be grown-ass, you know. Because to me, when you're, like... I mean, you're not grown when you're in your 20s. But, like, you, you, there's a cutoff age for, like, pedophilia and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But, like, his dad was 22 and he was messing with his mom who was 15. And then he's using the angle of, so how couldn't you sympathize with her? That's a good angle, but again, it's like, what are we doing, bro? It's kind of like, <clears throat> it's a little weird. But I didn't know that. I didn't know that Eminem's father was older than his mother. I mean, I don't... When he ate Lil Debbie, he takes the cake. Cause she was only 15, so how could one not sympathize with her having you as a team? She had to lose herself in the moment, give up her dreams. Just to see her son out here looking like a wigger in jeans. Little Marshall Mathers, mad cause nobody thinks that Little Marshall Mathers That sentiment's hard together, let's get this shit all together The picture was ripped, I fixed it, but none with me, you and 50 Let's stick this shit all together, you like it slim? I made it just for you, I even kidnapped Stan's brother and baited him in for you But you would just say no, probably leave us in the blistering coat God made you damn near perfect, he just missed your soul you ain't a shell of who you used to be And after you, it's me on a Uzi spree like it's two of me And Matthew's there now It's just you and me The sweatpants, the dad hat, do-rag, and no jewelry Um, is that cultural appropriation? Ask Paul if it's inappropriate for me to make that statement Rude of me, how your date went? Did you re dye your beard or get another facelift Or do shrooms in your mom's basement Until you nod and see spaceships And the aliens inside it Come and tell you your talent's wasted Then you wake up and you ain't shit I know you feel it for Dr. Dre basic, how I run it, and add it in the basement, and now I cry it, cause I didn't had it with the fake shit, you never understood Ebonics or Cadence, I it, yes he does, it's Eminem, it's Eminem bro, and the flow's kinda ABC right now, but it, you know, 
But a bunny, but a bait, but a bunny, but a bait, but you know, it's kind of ABC one two three right now. But he's getting his shit off. Press everything like a weight bench, and every time the plate hits, you off another playlist. Sorry, they working out. Niggas shooting Billy Blaze. It's my wedding. Why I'm here, I should really thank MGK, UGK, Tech Nine, Uzi Spray. My other twelve personalities wasn't really in the mood today. Hot kids, hit some fun. Let's all say nigga once. Crash the car, hit and run. Jumped out, hit the gun. Your fans want a rap guy, well fuck it. I'ma give him one. I came to put Slim in the box, but he already let him one. Mr. Shady, don't be shady. Pick that pen up, don't be lazy. Call up Dre and get that drink. <laughs> Jump off stage if shit get crazy. Mr. Shady, don't be shady. Pick that pen up, don't be lazy. Call up Dre and get that drink. Jump off stage if shit get crazy. Okay, I mean, um, yeah, uh, it definitely gets weird, I'm not gonna lie. That's something that always kind of intrigues me, is like, if, if we're cool or whatever, or even if we're not cool, we don't have to be friends, but it's like, if you start taking jabs and shots at real life scenario, like talking about his daughter, talking about his mom and his dad being... Essentially, his mom getting raped by his, his dad because, you know, it's it's rape at that point, even if it's consensual. Unless there's some type of weird law that I'm not aware of where it's consent, but minors can't consent. Talking about his daughter, talking about his mom, talking about his dead brother. And then kind of like just taking overall general jabs at cultural appropriation, all that type of stuff. The the 50 Cent Durag One Wave line, that was kind of dope. Because now that I think about it, i never seen 50 with waves. But like, hey, man, <clears throat> I mean, what do you guys think? I just want to get my reaction, get this posted, you know what I'm saying? Because this is, like, kind of crazy. Uh, Eminem, I imagine, would respond, you know? Because um, it was a formidable, like, shot. But it's like, why are we taking shots? And I don't know. I think game is just really crazy, you know what I'm saying? But, hey, you know, um, like, comment, subscribe uh, to my channel. I'll be doing more content like this. Maybe not always reaction videos, but I just literally was listening to the joint. Because I heard about a diss, and I was like, you know, I heard I heard on Nori's podcast, he said he thought he was better or whatever. You could think you're better. That's that's cool. I think I'm better than a lot of people. I don't necessarily voice it, you know what I'm saying? But I think I'm better than a lot of people. And that translated into a diss track where he was really, like, really dissing. Because um, I kind of try and stay away from, like, dead death relatives and... Unless you're really trying to go there, you know what I'm saying? And so it could be that he just doesn't see Eminem as a threat at all. And so, like, he's not even worried about it. Could be. Um, but, yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Peace. I'm out.